Welcome to Materials Radio. This week's topic, Materials of the Future, Superconductors. So, what exactly is a superconductor? Well, a superconductor is a material that displays very little to no electrical resistance. This property is often observed only when the material is cooled below a certain temperature. These temperatures are usually very low. In fact, the deceptively named high-temperature superconductors must be cooled with liquid nitrogen in order to function. That's negative 196 degrees Celsius. Hey, so liquid nitrogen is cool at all, but what exactly can we do with these superconductors? One of the most interesting things about superconductors is their ability to levitate magnets under the right conditions. For example, look at this demo. If you cool a superconductor past its critical temperature using liquid nitrogen and place a magnet above it, the magnet will levitate. Without getting too technical, this is because the superconductor and magnet have opposing fields, and that creates repulsion. You know, now that you mention it, I think I've heard about that. Aren't superconductors used every day in the medical industry in things like MRI machines? I think they're also used in scientific research through nuclear magnetic resonance machines, mass spectrometers, and even particle accelerators like the Large Hadron Collider at CERN. They have many applications in digital circuits to make switches and junctions, too, I think. That reminds me, we're also attempting to create magnetic levitation trains that would run super fast because of the lack of friction between the superconductors and the rail. The train would just float over the top of the rail, just like the superconducting disc in this demo. Some problems, though, are that it is difficult to keep the superconductors cooled, and also to make sure that the train is safe. Wow, with all this awesome stuff, superconductors are definitely important. That's right. We would like to thank our audience for tuning in, and a big thank you to our professors and the television shows that first showed us superconductors. And of course, thanks to Wikipedia for some quick fact-checking. See you next time on Materials Radio. And remember, Materials Radio is made possible by the 40,000 members of ASM International, the Materials Information Society, and the Material Advantage Student Chapter at the University of Illinois in Urbana-Champaign.